More Americans fleeing the coronavirus outbreak in China are arriving in the U.S. And once they're here, they will have a two-week quarantine to endure. The CDC is sending quarantine flights to four locations, Travis Air Force Base in Sacramento, California, Marine Corps Air Station Miramar in San Diego, Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas, and Epley Airfield in Omaha, Nebraska. Those hundreds of passengers were screened before taking off and medical personnel monitored them in flight. When they landed, CDC officials evaluated their temperatures and any respiratory symptoms they showed. So we checked their temperatures twice a day. Um, and we, uh, we also ask them about new onset of any kind of respiratory symptom. Uh, we have a very, very low threshold then for transporting people who we think might be early in their symptomatic period um, here for evaluation and isolation. So, it, so we prevent transmission both within the quarantine space and outside of it. Now those people are quarantined at various military bases. Some are staying in on-base hotels, others are in dorm-like rooms. For these two weeks, quarantine people are not confined to their rooms, but they are secluded, some in fenced-in areas. We're still gonna take precaution. You know, it's not over. You know, we still are wearing, everyone here is still wearing face masks. The quarantined individuals are not allowed physical contact with anyone outside. If they display symptoms consistent with the novel coronavirus, they will be taken to a nearby civilian hospital for treatment. There is an area where they are, they have housing units, and I think that they are um, um, going about daily lives there the best that they can. I understand from the folks on the ground that, in general, um, they are grateful to be home and have been very cooperative. But we know it's not an easy thing we're asking them to do. To date, six government chartered flights have carried evacuated U.S. nationals home. The CDC expects the earliest quarantine to be lifted February 11th. Um, as long as they are healthy and their immediate family is healthy, our, our plan is to release them and um, help them get um, to their final destination, which I presume will be home with their families. We'll need to make sure that they're not sick with novel coronavirus, but otherwise I'm sure that they are looking forward to being released home.